Are you worried that you might not have the level of trust with your colleagues that would really help you get the benefit of the doubt in a few situations? But sometimes we notice, like, why is that person assuming the worst about me? Why did they respond to my email as if my message to them had been some attack? It wasn't. <laughs> It's often because you haven't created a strong connection with that person, and then you just never get the benefit of the doubt. So it's worth investing in a stronger connection, but how? Well, the first and best way to create connection is to have downtime, particularly time when you can break bread together. Biologically, eating with someone actually strengthens your connection to them. If it's a remote teammate, just get on that Zoom and drink your coffee and eat your muffin. It still works. Other ways to create connection are to share personal things on your way into or out of a meeting, talking about you know what you really enjoyed on Netflix recently or your favorite TikToker. It can be something very casual. Create a connection around you know your own style. I have a tool called the Owner's Manual that helps you communicate with your colleagues about you know what's the best way to communicate with you and some of your habits and idiosyncrasies and sharing that and creating a conversation about that can really help foster connection. And it's worth it because when you have a strong connection and you send an email that could be interpreted in different ways, well, they're going to interpret it in a way that's more positive. When you say something in a meeting, they're going to cut you some slack instead of, you know, assuming the worst. So having a strong connection with your colleagues means in a variety of situations that come up, you're getting the benefit of the doubt. One of the most important situations where you either get the benefit of the doubt or not these days is when you get caught being distracted. That is something I want you to think about because distraction erodes connection. It's a very bad thing. It affects your reputation. So take a minute to check this out and learn about all the ways that being distracted may be affecting you and things you can do to be less distracted and not ruin that connection you have with your colleagues.